In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the roll-up formula. So here I have a collection with a list of cars and I have uh, locations, like rental locations of where you can find the cars. And I would like to add a select element where people can select the rental location. So I would have two options. I could, you know, I could write here my options, JFK, uh, JFK Airport, for example, but I don't want to do that. I want to bind my options so the options are dynamic. So I can do this here in options. And here, what this field, the options field expect is a list of items, an array. So I could create a collection with my list of locations. I could do that this way, so locations, and then in Airtable, I would select the, um, the table with my location name. And then there we go. I could do this, have a collection, and here I would bind it so that it displays the location name. So here I could have, I could tell it that um, the label field is location name and the value field. Here we go. So I could use it like this. So I have a dedicated collection, but in this case, I don't want to have, I don't want to load a collection, an additional collection because I already have this information in my cars collection. So what I can do is I can use the roll up formula to create a new array, a new list with all the location names. How would that work? A roll up. And if I look at this formula, what it expects is the array uh, that I wanna use as a basis. So in my case, it's the cars data array. And then it needs the key the key is location. So I want the list of all the locations. There we go. So now I have the list of all the locations, except you see I have Greenwich Village, Brooklyn, JFK is twice. So I have them multiple times. I don't want that. So what I can do is I can add that distinct argument at the end. So comma, distinct, oops, between needs to be a string and there we go now i have the list of unique locations i can get rid of these label and value fields i don't need them anymore because i fed options directly as an array instead of an array of objects so now if i go into preview mode i will have my locations. And finally, what I need to do to filter through my collection is I need to make sure here that I've added a filter where the location is, and then I can bind to my input select variable. So now if I change this, Greenwich Village, there we go. There we go. So that's how you use the select element. And if you don't want to create a dedicated collection for your list of options, that's how you use the roll-up formula to get the options from an existing collection.